what's happening youtube charles and charters back with another video feels like it's been a bit uh we are going to do some mail today we got a huge stack of mail so we are going to get right into it gonna be uh, a little bit of star wars some wrestling finish off with baseball so star wars they're doing the 40 years of return of the jedi the first movie i've ever seen in theaters and we picked up two of the Gamorrean guards. This is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. I have no rhyme or reason why. I love Jedi because all the uh, monsters in Jabba's palace. That was really just my absolute favorite because of all that. Then the uh, Sarlacc pit and everything. And But this here is my favorite character. <clears throat> So when I saw that released, I had to get that. Uh, on to wrestling now. We picked up Jamie Hayter, Match Dated Moments. Beat uh, Tony Storm at full gear. I hope she's back soon from that uh, shoulder injury. Love me some Hayter. And getting into the Revolution. I did not get a box of this. I may still, but I've got a lot of singles. I've got the uh, Seth and Becky card, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get a box or not. But we got the uh, Seth Shockwave. And this is the hardest Becky card to get. The base Shockwave has been hell to get. Uh, we got a Seth Auto. Just the base auto. We'll be redeemed after this video. Got the Becky stargazing. I love that picture. And then we just got a uh, stack of singles. Some of the ones I like to collect. We got JC Jane. There's about five more I want to get. They'll be in a different uh, different mail day. JC Jane. Mm. Kit Wilson. Elton Prince and the pretty deadly tag team card. Yes, boy. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Him and Seth put on a fantastic match for the New World title. I mean, you knew that was going to happen. Two of the best to do it. Speaking of one of the best to do it, Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Shortly after he won the uh, IC title from British Bulldog during his first uh, heel run. And we got Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. The genetic freak. Freakzilla. And my favorite tag team of all time, Rick and Scott, the Steiner Brothers. They kind of need to stay away from a microphone, though. Or away from a camera. Eesh. Don't, uh, don't always say the smartest things. Let's just put it that way. Leave it at that. Braun Breaker. He had a hell of a match with Seth last Tuesday on uh, NXT. Kid's going to be good, man. Kid's going to be real good. We got D-Generation X. That's a pretty cool photo from when they invaded Nitro. And we got what I feel is the GOAT manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan. I think he was all around the best manager, even though I love Jimmy Hurt too, uh, obviously Paul Heyman, but uh, for me it was Bobby. And for me, my own personal opinion, there's no better commentary team than Grill and Bobby. Grill and Jesse was good, Grill and Jesse was good, but Grill and Bobby was hands down. The best. Funnier than hell. Just everything. They just clicked on all cylinders all the time. All right, getting into a little bit of football. Playing off the wrestling theme, actually. James Laurinaitis. Got the metal captains. I really didn't have anything of him. 
So I saw this pop up for real cheap. I wanted to snag it. It's a really cool card. You know, the little heavier, heavier metal card. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the wrestling connection, he is Road Warrior Animal Son. And his uncle, People Power. All right. Um, picked up the Joey Bosa Power Players. Second Derek Kerr there. I just like the, the card, like the shot. Didn't have it. Added it to the collection. And I got into a break with uh, Buck City. It was a Phoenix break. Didn't have much happening. But I got some cards for the PC. It's been a while since we've seen like some football in here. Got Herbie, Mike Williams. And Mike Williams numbered to 250. 54, 250 to be exact. And then got the Isaiah Spiller rookie. See what they uh see what they do with him. And then this one, five years in the making. I'll be honest with you, I didn't realize this kid's still in the league. He is. He's uh, with Milwaukee. Luis Urias Auto came in. <clears throat> Luis Urias Auto. Not a bad auto. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's with Milwaukee. I, I just about swear that's why I saw. So he is playing. He's playing. He's still in the league and everything. So, five years on that redemption. Uh, been a while since I picked up some cards. Of my boy, Eric Sogard, he played for uh, the Czech Republic in the World Baseball Classic, so they got a card of him, and so do I. He actually had a damn good baseball classic, too. He played well. Hit the ball well. Uh, living set. Big Tex, Mark Teixeira. Was a fan of this guy, no matter what uh, uniform he wore. He was cool. <clears throat> Always enjoyed watching him play. Uh, because I ordered the Tops Now team, Cubs team set, you get the uh, achievements throughout the year. And Marcus Stroman twirled the first complete game shutout since 2014. Blanks the Rays won nothing. Go figure, the Cubs are struggling, and they beat the best team in baseball. Shut them out, too. That's Cub baseball sometimes. That's just baseball in general, man. Baseball's a funny game sometimes. But cool card for the Cubbies collection. They need to re-sign him. The fact they haven't even talked to him yet is just BS, but different conversation for a different time. Okay, uh, these I have in a binder as part of the set. But I wanted them for my actual PC box. This is the uh, Bichette Rookie. The Pete Alonzo collection. So he had two in the set. Got this one here. And then this one, I really like this one. Just cool looking card. Sorry for the glare. The lighting's a little different uh, today. I just kind of noticed that. Sorry about that. Kind of shifted things around, got a, a girlfriend's son's graduation party later today, so things were shifted around a little bit, so the lighting's a little different. This one, I waited forever for it to pop up, finally did, and it turns out someone that lives about uh, 20 minutes from me. We got the Boba Shet, let's go Chrome, from Big League. Seller did a good job, put it in the mag with the uh, penny sleeve in front of the card. Definitely appreciate that. Yep, I didn't even realize he lives about 20 minutes from me, so I was like, hey, all right. And I actually get my hair cut uh, in the town this guy, uh, the seller lives in, so. Kind of funny how that works out. Uh, from Heritage, we got the Bow Mini. That's numbered uh, 96 out of 100. Then we got the uh, 
Stamps, Vladdy Bo, Hinjin Ryu, and Jose Barrios. And we got the Clubhouse Collection uh, jersey piece. <clears throat> Bo is uh, second in the league in hits behind uh, Arias. He's, as of yesterday, he was four hits behind Luis Arias. So we'll see how that plays out. He's second batting average in the AL with 317, 316 now, I think. And he is running away with the uh, all star votes to start at shortstop. Really hope he does. Really pulling for him. Uh, favorite son. This is from Series 2. This is cool. Got the Heavy Lumber from Series 2. These are awesome looking cards. Got the old school feel to them and everything. Just really cool card. Happy to add that one. And we got the Father's Day uh, Blaster Box uh, patch. Just one of those manufactured commemorative I would say they're kind of cheesy, but kind of cool at the same time. This one's not too bad. So I won't complain about one day to the PC. I thought the helmet card was really cool looking last year. Man, that thing was thick. That's what she said. Um, then we got, this was a box topper I did not have. Box topper rookie from uh, Heritage. So added that. I figure out a little bit better way to try and store that one. And then uh, two more things to show. These are both from series two. We got the clear that acetate, it is hard to see in that. I still want to try and battle getting out of the thing right now, out of the envelope right now, but number one out of 10. Very happy to add that one. <clears throat> That's just a really cool looking card. That might be one I uh, actually send into grade. We'll see. Usually I'm not, uh, I haven't really been big on that grading and stuff anymore, but we'll see. I might uh, might do that one. The second one. Let's get her on camera here. We got the uh, mirror image, gold mirror image variation. The SSP. And his are pretty much all sold around the same price I got mine for, so. I guess I did okay. I guess. I mean, obviously, it's in one of these, so you know it was a little pricey, but I was very happy to add that into the PC. It's a cool shot. I'm sitting there chilling before the game. And then the final piece of mail today is actually not Bo Bichette, but it is a huge redemption if you saw my uh, Stadium Club blaster box break. This puppy came in. It's Aaron Judge, 15 out of 25. And look at that. That is a pretty card, man. <clears throat> Pulled this out of a blaster. Redemption, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy to have that. Just a beautiful card. And Topps actually did all this. Obviously, they put their sticker on there, but they put it in a team bag. It came... Uh, came... FedEx, if I remember right, 
So, yeah. But all right, guys, over 15 minutes, I've kept your ear long enough. Um, just had a huge stack of mail I wanted to go through and, and show off and show that redemption that came in. Maybe I'll make a short on that one or something. I haven't made a short before, so. But uh, that's it for this one, guys. Have a great weekend. Got the Cubs Cardinals London series, which I'll be keeping an eye on throughout the uh, boys party today and stuff like that. So, but that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Talk to you later.